Hi everyone out there, it's Darren and Joe over at Urban Hillsides Real Estate here to talk to you about hot new listings this week. Uh, Darren, what's your observations this week? What are we going to see? Uh, balance. Uh, we, had, we had balance in solds compared to new listings, you know, 23 okay. solds, 27 actives. Um, and, and we're seeing even on the sold properties, we're still seeing, we're seeing some over, but not a lot, some under, uh, you know, uh, I think we were talking earlier and, uh, it's been a, a seller's market for more than a decade and, right. uh, <laughs> It's a little bit of a balanced market, which feels right. like a buyer's market on some level. I don't know that it is, but um, but uh, you know, buyers have a shot, a better shot than they've ever they've had in a while. <laughs> There's some hope. Okay. Yes. Well, great. All right. Well, let's dig into some of your picks. What's your first one? One zero two one Larker. Larker. All right. Just punch it up here. Oh yeah, it looks very clean. Bear with me here. All right. Uh, let me hit the present. Okay. Well, here we go. Uh, 1021 Larker Avenue. This is Highland Park. Three bedroom, three bath. Good size. 2,095 square feet of living space. And uh, it's on the market at 1,375,000, uh, 6,500 square foot lot, uh, seven days on the market so far, and uh, oh, no opens. Uh, but uh, this is brought to us by Stephen Aslanian. So congrats to Stephen on his listing. So what do you have to say about this one, Darren? You know, a little pocket of Highland Park. It's a little bit of a suburban vibe there. Uncommon mm -hmm. for Highland Park. Mm -hmm. uh, all mid-century builds. Some still have a good amount of the original character. Character Typically, slightly smaller lots with some mm -hmm. views. Uh, many of them have yeah. some views. Um, so it's a good, solid neighborhood with larger slightly larger homes uh yeah. and square footage wise the prices are good it's definitely a very safe pocket yep and oh, that's great i like this one a lot all right and what is your next one two one four three fargo two one four three fargo all right All right. So 2143 Fargo Street. Uh would you call this Echo Park or Silver Lake? Silver Lake? It's it's Silver Lake proper, you know. Yeah. Some people would get, uh, collect it. It's it's no uh you know on the it would be the east side of the true, true. freeway. Or the yeah. yeah, the east side, right. right. So I know there's that but, little sliver over there. Technically, the dividing line is is Lake Shore. That's where the zip right. code changes. But I think many would consider this Echo Park. Got it. So uh, it's a two bedroom, one bath. It's eight hundred and twenty square feet, uh, listed at a good price one million twenty nine thousand seventy five hundred square foot lot. Uh, we have opened. Uh, looks like Saturday and Sunday, the ninth and the tenth, from one to three p.m. And it's been on the market only five days. Brought to us by da, 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 Lauren Reichenberg. Yeah. Great. Well, congratulations, congratulations to Lauren. Looks really long, nice. Long time agent. Um, yeah. Does nice work. This is this one is priced to move. Definitely holiday yeah, right? pricing here. You know, it's close to the two freeway. I'm not sure based on how the property is situated whether you're going to pick up any of that noise from the two for your it looks like sure. maybe not. Uh, you might get some small views, but it's super charming and quaint. Uh, yeah. It's got very nice outdoor space, uh, easy access um, to freeway. Uh, it's, it's a great price for the neighborhood. Yeah. Um, so it should go fast. 
Yeah, I was going to say it's 820 square feet, so it's not a castle, but um, there's some nice outdoor space. Um, there's probably some more you could do with it, maybe an ADU, that kind of thing. Yeah, it looks like yeah. there's a lower level space as well. Uh, mm -hmm. Not standard heights, maybe, but definitely more usable space than the, the primary square footage. Yeah. All right. I like that one. Okay, next. Next one, 1716 Mitchell Torina Street. Uh-huh. Oh, hold on. Mitchell. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Well, this looks pretty posh. Let's see here. Yeah, uh, we've got a little jump in price on this one. All right. Well, we got the slider going here. Uh, 1716 uh, Mitchell Torrena Street. This is Silver Lake. Four bedroom, four bath, 3,038 square feet. Uh, 2,795,000 is the list price. 7,500 square foot lot. Uh, open on Sunday, the 10th, 1 to 4 p.m. And let's see, six days on the market so far. And this is brought to us by a trio, Anthony Stelleni, Sherry Rogers, and Elisa Ritt. So congrats to them on this listing. So what's not to like about this one, Darren? Talk to me. Uh, you know, it's, a, it's got a modern vibe to it. It's on yeah. what, has, no matter what neighborhood it's flowing through, Mitchell Torina is just a good street up and down throughout the neighborhood. Yep. Uh, it's yep. good square footage. It is not a huge lot, um, but it's got character. It's got tall ceilings. It's got lots of glass. Um, just looks like a very charming property and a great place to live. Yeah. Well, so it's got, yeah, the Payne residence built by Christopher Payne, AIA. So it's got a little pedigree there, the Finn architecture. Um, and as you said, overall, it's a great street. I, uh, there is a view there. So it's on that view side, looks like. Yep, yep, nice patio looking out towards that. Yeah, you know, open space, nice finishes. It just it feels good. It feels it seems to flow well. There might uh, I think there's a secondary space as well. I don't know if they yeah. call that out in the right of a I'm little reading. Bit. Yeah, I'm reading a one bedroom, one bath, live work studio. Right. With vaulted plywood ceilings. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Cool. Cool. It's a great spot. All right. Anything else? Or that's it? Mm, I, well, just that I think we'll see some tapering off of volume. Uh, we'll, okay. we'll see some closings happening still over the next few weeks. It went into escrow in November, but uh, right. uh, maybe we might have a little burst next week, and then it's going to taper off very quickly. Right, right. Okay, guys. Well, look, thanks for joining us for these couple minutes. We'll see you real soon. Stay tuned for our hot topic of the week, the next video, uh, about who's a mom and pop landlord. So we'll see you real soon. Have a great week. Take care, Bye. guys. Bye.